But with all the 80 live 5G networks deployed and 130 signed contracts, Ericsson certainly seems to know a lot about the core network. Can you please explain the journey that these operators will experience in this transition? Yeah, it's true. We we do have, you know, the the, the I would say the largest experience right now in the industry of, of the 5G core, 5G networks in, in general and 5G core as well. Mm-hmm. And you know, there there are of course a lot of things that a service provider would need to consider when you know embarking on the 5G journey. Maybe one way to describe it is if I take two different dimensions, the vertical dimension and the horizontal dimension. So since this is being developed as, you know, from Ericsson 5G core, it's a fully cloud native core, which means, you know, you now have container uh, network functions. Uh, The Mm -hmm. first question a lot of uh, service providers will ask, what is going to be the infrastructure that I will run these new network functions on? And some will actually take what we have, you know, the cloud native containerized uh, functions and still deploy it within virtual machines, more or less leveraging the infrastructure that they already have for 4G. Because, you know, they might have capacity, they have the competence, it's an easier way to introduce, you know, the the new technology. Uh, But we have others who now really want to go take full advantage of the fact that it is cloud native and want to do the deployment on a bare metal type of infrastructure. So we see both. Uh, options in the market and and from Ericsson we do support both Um, Mm -hmm. and then if I talk more about the horizontal dimension I mean here you have both the end-to-end perspective from you know what you need to think of from you know from the device the radio access the core uh, you know the whole orchestration the BSS so in that whole domain there's also a lot of you know thinking around what's the right basically path for the introduction of 5G but Maybe even more so, I would say it's also the interworking with 4G or 3G for that matter as well, right? Because very few, well, I would say no carrier would have a full NR coverage day one. 